first thing you want to do is go into settings all right and go ahead and find about phone on this one it's going to be under system and under about phone all right uh, find where about phone is and go ahead and find where it says build number go ahead and hit that about five times until it says you are now a developer or something along the lines of you have enabled developer options all right hit the back button uh once or twice depending on the phone um go back to the system menu and you will see a new menu option called developer options and here you should see an option for oem unlock or unlocking all right go ahead and make sure turn it on all right just like that if you don't see this option um some of the older phones don't have this option then you can go ahead and skip this step all right next you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and make sure usb debugging is checked on all right go ahead and check that on allow usb debugging and then you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via usb cable now you can go ahead and use windows mac or linux okay guys next go to my site highonandroid.com you can go to fastboot.zip adb and android usb drivers menu under rooting menu all right if you go here you'll be able to download fastboot.zip all right, this contains all the files you need for Windows, Mac, or Linux. You do not have to download the whole Android SDK, which can actually take like 30 minutes to an hour to actually sync up. Um, so I've saved you time, and also this file is only like uh, four megabytes, so you'll be able to sa save time. Now to download this file and any of the files on my site, um, just go down where it says click here to download and click here to download. That's pretty much it. All right, that will download the fastboot.zip. Also go ahead and download Android USB driver for Windows if you're using Windows. All right, I'm using Windows 7, but um, you can go ahead and use this on Windows 7, 8, 9. No, sorry, there's no 9, 10, 11. Also Windows XP, yada, yada, yada. Once you download the driver, go ahead and install it. All right. And this will install the proper ADB drivers for your Windows computer. And this is different from um, the ADB driver that's already on your computer. Some of the Windows 10, 11, or 10 have it. Does, do we have 11 yet? The newer Windows have ADB drivers, but they're the wrong one. So install this one. And if you have the proper drivers installed, you should see Android interface. Right now, it just says uh, Nexus 6P. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone, plug it back in. And now it should install the Google Android ADB interface. All right, you'll see Android Nexus ADB interface or something along the lines of ADB interface. Then you are good to go. All right, if you're wondering how to get into a device manager, please go Google it for your Windows OS. All right, go onto your phone immediately after that and it should say allow USB debugging. I'm um, going to choose allow, always allow from this computer and hit OK. If you don't do this, it will not work. Okay guys, um, next go into your downloads directory. Go ahead and double click on fastboot.zip. Extract all files and go ahead and extract it to your downloads folder uh, under fastboot directory. All right, you should get a new folder called fastboot with all the files you need for Windows, Mac, or Linux. All right, next go ahead and open up a command prompt. Go ahead and type CMD under the search bar. And if you're using uh, Mac or Linux, go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how, it's just go Google it. It's really easy. Just go Google how to open terminal prompt for Mac or Linux or Ubuntu. Uh, and then go ahead and open up a terminal prompt. But it's going to basically look like this command prompt. And you're going to next go ahead and type CD downloads, um, your downloads folder name. It could be download or downloads. Just go ahead and double check what your download folder name is. And you're going to go ahead and type CD fastboot. All right. This is all same for Mac, Linux, or uh, Windows. And if you're using Mac or Linux, at this point, the commands might be slightly different. You're going to go ahead and type ADB reboot bootloader. Just like that. All right. And this command will boot you back into the bootloader. If you're using Mac or Linux, go to my site and look for the substitute commands. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and this will boot us back into the bootloader fast boot bootloader mode. Most phones will show this. Um, some phones may look different so long as it says something like fast boot somewhere. Uh, or you got some, some kind of information about the uh, phone. You're in fast boot mode. All right, or bootloader mode. All right, go back to your computer and we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot OEM unlock. All right, now this command might not work for all the devices. Um, it does work for most of the devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. 
and it says unknown command all right if that happens to you you can go ahead and try the other command that's the newer command which is fast boot flashing unlock so try either one of these and one of these will unlock your bootloader but in the case of nexus 6p it's fast boot flashing unlock for most of the older nexus devices and most other android devices it is fast boot oem unlock uh, for example all the oneplus devices are fast boot oem unlock and yes this method will work on all the oneplus devices i forgot to tell you i'm gonna type that and hit enter and boom shakalaka you should get some kind of screen like this where it asks you to unlock the bootloader you may have to use the volume keys make sure yes is highlighted and go ahead and tap the power key and that will unlock the bootloader and this will wipe off everything on your phone all right it should reboot automatically if it doesn't go ahead and use the volume keys go to start and hit the power button and now you should get some kind of warning like this um, some of the older phones, you won't get a warning, but some of the newer phones, especially the Google phones, you'll get a warning. Um, but that's pretty much it. Now you have fully unlocked the bootloader. A lot of phones will show that unlock sign down there. And it's now erasing everything on my phone. And once you have unlocked your bootloader, you never have to do it again. The only time you would actually relock the bootloader is if you want to resell your phone or maybe return to the manufacturer for warranty. All right, once you're here, you can go ahead and sign in. Your phone should be like the day you got it. But now your bootloader has been unlocked. You should be able to um, install Tor Recovery, Custom Recovery, and install Custom ROMs. Now, most Android phones do require you to unlock the boot. Two files, that is Android SDK Slim and Universal Adribu Driver Setup. Links in the description box below. After installing and extracting the zip file, you need to open the zip folder. After doing so, you need to power off your mobile phone completely. So once your device is completely switched off, you need to press and hold power button and volume down button simultaneously at the same time to enter into fast boot mode. So once your device is in the fast boot mode, connect it with your PC. After doing so, you need to press and hold shift key plus right click in the blank area to open command window here. But in my case, it is showing open PowerShell window here. So I will open command from window and navigate to this folder. So now I am in this folder and to check whether the device is successfully connected or not, issue the following command. Fast boot devices and press enter. So my device is showing. So now issue the following command. Fast boot OEM unlock and press enter. So the bootloader is successfully unlocked on my device. To check whether it is unlocked or not, issue the following command. Fastboot OEM device info and press enter. So it is showing that device unlocked through. It means that the bootloader is successfully unlocked on my device. So if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe bu button and the like button